Alright, so today we're going to be taking apart a Game Boy Advance, and I took this one apart last night, and it was actually really fun to take apart. And uh, I couldn't fix the battery cover because, uh, basically, okay, here's the battery cover, and see this part that comes up here, there's actually a piece broken off right here that's supposed to come back out towards the front here, and uh, it basically, you would, uh, clip it in like that you see in the piece that's broke off is supposed to come out here and uh, apply pressure to it to hold it into place but I'm probably gonna rig it up somehow uh, the previous owners had scotch tape on it which I left on there uh, but yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna find something a little better than that but not in this video but if anybody has rigged one up before and wants to uh, tell me what they used in the comment section that'd be helpful and so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take apart this guy here and I'm going to turn this light back off otherwise it's going to be too shiny there we go and you see this guy has some albatross droppings on it as uh, my buddy Matt would say but uh, yeah it's, it's not really albatross droppings no it's actually um, the remainder of the price tag and I really hate that because they did that on both of them and plus the other place that I bought the uh, the game gear from like they for some reason think it's a bright idea to put the price tag right on the fucking screen which is really annoying so we're gonna get that off eventually uh, but first we're gonna take it apart now when when you look at the screws on this see if I can get a good shot of one of the screws there there's one okay uh, there oh uh, this is all confusing. Uh, we can kind of see it. It's basically, it's like a three, three prong kind of deal, and there it is, like at the top of my finger. Um, so yeah, you could either use a special screwdriver, uh, or you can just use the one that I'm gonna recommend, and that's a um, a 1.4 millimeter, and uh, this will work good. And it it just has like a little straight edge on it and it actually will fit just like right in right on in there and it's it's nice and tight there's it's not loose so it's good it won't strip your screws or anything all right so I got all the screws out except for one and you might be wondering okay where is that one well it's right there under my thumb and it's inside the battery compartment and you can actually use like a little Phillips like maybe uh, maybe a a number zero might work I'm not sure but I'm just gonna continue to use the 1.8 or excuse me the 1.4 millimeter because that will actually go in that little screw and it will work just fine alright now that we got all the screws out of it we're just gonna lift the top off just like that it's just that easy isn't that fun all right, video over. Just kidding. All right, now if you look at the inside, like all these like little plastic flaps, they just kind of come right off. They just, you know, they're not really snapped in there or anything like that. They just come right off. And same with these little buttons up here. Maybe. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So you can't take these. All right. No, I guess you can. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about the little metal thing that goes under the plat. We'll talk about that once we get the board out. But yeah, you just uh, lift up and pull out and those guys will come out. So now we got all those pieces there. Now when you get to the board itself, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is you're going to want to unhook the monitor ribbon cable. And to do that, you just get your same screwdriver and you go under these little brown things right here. You just push that one out, and you push that one out, just like that. And then the ribbon cable, ta-da, <laughs> you know, comes right out. Well, there we go. <laughs> you should probably use your fingers, not the screwdriver. I was trying to be fancy there. <laughs> so anyhow, get that cable out. And then you're going to look, and if you look at the board, those screws, you know, there's one right there. And then there's one other one on the other side right over here so they're kinda hidden at first I didn't even see the damn things 
so we just gonna unscrew this guy right here using the same screwdriver and don't lose those little fuckers I last night I dropped one on the on the carpet and took forever to find anyhow see so yeah, it just lifts right up nothing too fancy there it's uh it's actually really well designed because everything's just in one nice little board here you get your little speaker and uh, processor the CPU central processing unit I believe is what CPU stands for okay now we got this section and uh, these are of course your your monitor and your controls uh, this piece right here is your power switch power switch and now we got the controller and you can see that uh, they made little pieces like little pegs that you just stick the rubber pieces right on so it makes it really easy to put them back together and like here's the uh, see look at all that gunk we got on there on that d-pad that's pretty gross so we're gonna definitely clean that up and you can just pull this right off see it just kind of sticks into there like that there's those and then here's your buttons and first you got this you know the little rubber piece and that's look at how much grunge is on that thing that's pretty gross and uh, the buttons you know you can just dump them out like that and they have kinda like the same little setup as like a, a PS1 controller where they have like the little pegs on the side so you can't put them in there improperly which is really awesome and and that once again makes things really easy Put those there, and then we got the start and select buttons, and it's just a uh, big piece of rubber, basically. All right, now now we're at the screen, and the screen um, is actually it's basically just stuck in there with a little thing that goes around the edge. So what you're gonna do is you're just kind of find the loose spot, just kind of just kind of wiggle it like this, kind of bend the plastic. That's what I do. You don't want to do it too much though, you obviously don't want to break the damn thing. So just bend it a little. Now just grab a piece, like try to find a piece that's sticking up, but don't, you know, don't, obviously don't ruin it. You know, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a screwdriver and I'm going to, actually I don't even need the screwdriver. But you see how that piece is sticking up right there? And just get my finger there and just pull it there's nothing to it you don't need much force and it should come right out and as you can as as you can see it's like actually attached to the sticky stuff here and we'll get to that in a second and here's the screen as you can see it's in really good shape uh, so the case is definitely doing its job there now with the sticky stuff we're gonna take that out because we're actually gonna clean this whole case in hot water and it's no big deal just you know pull it out gently pull it out don't rip it if you do rip it it's not a big deal but it's pretty durable so I don't think you will and then there's that just remember that how it goes in there and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna set it on my uh, I'm gonna set it next to my screwdrivers just exactly how it should go back in so then that way I can just pick it up and just stick it back in there alright so here's the case And of course what I'm going to do is I'm going to go clean this up in the sink along with the uh, other pieces. Probably not these, I don't... Not really a big point. You don't really need to clean these because you can clean these. Well, I mean they are dirty, they need cleaned. But you can clean these without taking them to the sink obviously because they're on the outside of the Game Boy. And uh, check over your your uh, R and L buttons. Make sure that they look good on the on the outside and the inside and this one's pretty dirty so I'm probably gonna take that and clean it up but I'm probably not gonna completely emerge this into uh, into water I'm just gonna you know wipe it from the outside with a damp rag or something and then uh, this d-pad I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna clean that up and stuff and you don't have to worry about any of this stuff any of this stuff here or your d-pad or your you know R and L buttons you don't have to worry about uh, 
submerging them in water if you want to, that's fine. It's not going to hurt them because it's just plastic. 